Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And first of all, you should notice that this looks a little bit different. So I'm actually uh, filming from my, my handheld camera, my Osmo Action. And we're going to talk about this rack that's back here behind me. So it's been a minute since I've uh, done this, so so bear with me. But what I want to talk about is our is our ISP setup. And I want to talk about the physical layout and uh, a little bit more about the devices. Like you've seen them like in a box. We talked about them a little bit. But I want to show you how things are going to be set up. And I'm waiting for Ubiquity to give me the green flag on one thing. And then our first setup video where we're configuring gear inside of the software is going to be set up. But let's take a look at how I've got this set up. So up here at the top, we have our Edge Router Infinity, which if you're not familiar with this, this is a 10 gig router. So every port on here, I mean minus the console, is 10 gig capable, even the copper. So how we're going to have this set up is ETH0 is going to feed out to our, our real world. And we're going to emulate a block of IPs, a slash 24, which will be distributed through the router, through our, our pawn setup, right? So this is the OLT XGS. And you can see here I've got a module in. Oh, real quick. I guess uh, let's talk about how this is set up. So these eight ports here are for the XGS pawn or the XG pawn or G pawn. Then these ports over here are 25 gig ports, but they will obviously work with an SFP plus. So that's why I have the 10 gig, this aqua cable between the router and the OLT. And then over here we have our management interface and our console. So then, from the pawn side, I have it going down here to the WDM, and it is actually plugging in over here where it says XGS pawn slash XG pawn, which is right here. And then if we were on our standard G pawn, they would plug in here. And then we come out of this side. This says communications, and that is where we come down to devices. But real quick, so the cables that we're, we're using are the Ubiquity. These are the UPC to APC. And so we have to have these in the middle to connect them. And this is the optical adapter these are the APC adapters and they come they come in a box I think there's like 50 in there but that's how we're connecting our cable so there's actually a few different ways when you uh, get into this and designing it that you can distribute from your communication side out to your clients this is the easiest in the lab when we go for the configuration when we do the video on the OLT we'll talk about the other two deployment scenarios so what we've got coming off of uh, this device is we have our cable and then we're coming down to this splitter and this there's actually 32 connections in this splitter and you can see how fine the fiber is and if you're not following me on uh, Twitter slash X, whatever we're calling it now, and TikTok, I posted some stuff about how I think, and I think I did a YouTube short on it too, about how amazing fiber really is. So we've got that. Now you're probably wondering what we're going to do with the Protect Lee Vault. So this is actually going to run our um, hypervisor, which is going to have UISP on it. So that'll also hang off of the router on one of its ports. So I'll be doing this video later this week or next week. So that'll be out of the way. I need a little bit of better cable management, I think, as we're going in here, because this is going to stay and you all can have access to the UISP to check this out. So then we come down here and let's talk about the devices, the, the CPE that we're going to be testing with, because we'll do uh, 10 gig speed test, multiple 10 gig speed test at the same time. 
and with an upstream speed test server that I've got. So the first device that we're going to be using is the UISP Fiber XG. You have your XG pawn there. You've got a 10 gig Ethernet port, and then and that's actually a, I'm sorry, that's 2.5 gig port there. And then you've got USB power, or you can power this with 24 volt passive PoEN. Then the next device that we're going to use is the UISP Fiber XGS. And this is the one that has the 10 gig Ethernet port, and then you've got your XGS PON, and then you've got your USB-C power there. And then look at this, this monster is uh, you got your pawn there. This is the U-Fiber Wi-Fi 6 device. And this thing is, this thing is a chonk. It is, it is heavy, but you can power it with passive PoE. Um, and it can do obviously 10 gig and it's got a USB-C power. And so we're gonna configure all of these devices. I'm gonna show you how to distribute routable internet routable IP addresses and so non NAT addresses using these devices and using this setup up here. Um, if you want to see a video about how to actually get your own IP version 4 addresses without having to rely on your ISP completely let me know if you want to see that. And uh, so that's kind of where we're at with this, I just wanted to do this physical overview since we're waiting. I'm, like I said, I'm waiting for the green flag for one thing from Ubiquity, and then we're going to do start doing our configuration videos. So if you got any questions, let me know down in the comments. So uh, hopefully this video sounds okay, and um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out that form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. And join our community at community.willyhow.com. We're building a great community. Come on over, ask your questions, lend your expertise, all those good things. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.